Hey guys, Jeff Dickinson here. Today we'll be comparing the Batmobile from the 118th scale by Jada versus the 124th scale by Jada. Uh, and that way you can see exactly which car offers what and uh, kind of helps you make a decision if you're wanting to collect only one of the two. Um, now, this one here I got at Best Buy for 20 bucks. You can find it on Entertainment Earth's website for $24.99. This I found on Entertainment Earth's website for $59.99. And on eBay, it's running anywhere between $100 to $150 on up. So, buyer beware. This one on eBay is running around $50 on up. Um, I found it as high as $79. Um, so, you know, $20 bucks Best Buy and $60 bucks for Entertainment Earth. You can't go wrong. Uh, let's take a look at the packaging. Now, I got two of these. Um, I opened one, did an unboxing, and of course I did an unboxing for this one here. Uh, I'll put the links below if you want to check that out. But let's take a look at the box here, do a little once over. And it's a cool little box, it gives you a little window to check it out and stuff. And here's all the other 124 scale Batmobiles you could buy by Jada. Once again, it's part of Hollywood Rides. These are die cast metal. Show you the back in here. And then this one's more of a what they call the Elite Collector's version. Um, it's die cast too, but the thing is it lights up. And it's celebrating Batman's 80 years of Batman anniversary. And of course it has a cool Batman, you know, Batman classic TV logo. Side is really cool metallic. Sorry, you can see my pink Floyd shirt here. Um so if you're a collector, collecting the box and the car, uh, this and it lights up. This is really cool. And we'll dive in the differences between the two. And of course, let's show you the back end here. All right. So let's go and get the Batmobiles out and see what the difference is. Hang tight. All right. So here we are. So this is the 124 scale. Came with this Batman. And Robin's inside. And this one came with Robin and Batman on the outside. Uh, Batman's made out of metal, die cast metal, and both Robin and Batman's made out of die cast metal for this one too. Capes made out of vinyl. And yeah, it's pretty good detail here. Let me go let you take a look at Batman here. And of course his cape's vinyl too. He stands up okay on a flat surface. So we'll zoom in here on Robin, the boy wonder. Not a bad likeness. Batman. Looking cool. Not a bad likeness. And this Batman right here is not bad. I kept him on the stand, you know, because of the fact that he kept falling over. And then we got Robin in here. Yeah, it's okay. But the only thing is, he's made out of, not metal, he's made out of plastic. But the capes made out of the same material as these guys' capes are. So, let's uh, move, remove the figures. And zoom out. And we'll take a look at the differences between your Batmobiles. All right. So as you can see, side by side here, even it up. Of course, the one's a little bit longer, a little bit taller. Both look cool. Um, I started looking into collecting Batman's old 1966 TV series Batmobiles because all I had was one, which was a uh, Hot Wheels car. And I've been after wanting to get another collectible. I just haven't found one that was cool. And then I came across these by Jada. Um, I've been collecting some Jada cars. And uh, I found this and I thought it was really cool. So let's get a closer look at the 124 scale. Now the door is open on both sides as you see from earlier. I showed you Robin. And let's look at some detail here. 
Now there's not a heck of a lot of detail going on. You, know, you get the steering wheel, gear shift, fire extinguisher, bat phone down there. Um, the top here is made out of rubber. It's made out of plastic. Robin, he's glued. I was trying to get him out. There's no go. Um, I didn't want to break Robin or try to mess up the Batmobile. So I just left him in there. Those are the only two doors that open. That doesn't open. And that doesn't open. Um, let me zoom out here. Now, the back in here is made out of rubber. It's not made out of metal. Which I was hoping it would be. Where let's take a look at the one eighteenth scale. Move this over here. This is all diecast metal, just like this one here. But this stuff here, plastic. This is made of rubber, but the back here is plastic, which is cool. Let's open them up. Let's get the doors going, and that way you can see some more detail. There you go. So you get see the bat symbol right there on the steering wheel. Chrome. So it's a little more detail. Fire extinguisher's got a little chrome around it. Got some trim right around here. This one on the 124 scale does have trim too. So, you know, it's very similar, just not quite exact. Um, what this one also does, let me show you the bottom here, has some chrome to it, hope you can read that, both these came out in 2019, and right here, what we'll do here, flip on the switch, Check it out. Lights up. Pretty cool, huh? You zoom out here. I thought it was really, really cool that it lights up. So for 60 bucks, get a little more detail. The uh, hood opens here. Let me flip it. Best way to get into it. Without scratching the paint. And it has a little engine in here you get to check out. It's like a turbine turbine engine. Because you know, fire came out back in that Batmobile. If you watched the old school series. Um, let's open up the back in here. And in here, zooming in a little bit, you get the mobile crime computer. The Batmobile mobile crime computer. So it gives you a little more detail. So, zooming in here on top. Hopefully you can see some of this. And on the back. Close that up. Close that up. Pretty cool. Let's show you the uh, bottom of this one. And of course, you know, it's not painted. But it's all right. So side by side here, pretty cool. Let's do the front end here. Really looks cool to lit up. Now, if you're trying to figure out, well, gee. Should I splurge 20 to 25 or the 60 on up? Well, if you can't get both, you want some detail, this one right here is where my money's at. But if you're like me and a collector, this is cool too because it's a little bit smaller version of it. It's not that expensive, 20 bucks. Let me show you the back end here. And you got a little Batmobile if you want to add it to your collection for now. Heck of a lot of cash. So 
zoom in a little bit more. This is cool because Robin's not stuck in the seat. Or he is right here. Both of them have some good detail. The tires. Tires are rubber. I thought it was more of a plastic rubber, but it's not a soft rubber, it's a hard rubber. Both of them roll really cool. So basically, as you can see, there's your difference. You guys just ask yourself a question. What kind of Batmobile do I want? One that lights up? Or one that doesn't? Well guys, that'll do it for me. Your comparison. 118 scale, 60 bucks. 20, 25 bucks for the 124 scale. Alright guys. That's it for me. I'm going to go and uh... Check out some cool old school Batman shows. Every time I do one of these videos and show off a part of my collection, I kind of get a hankering for the movie or TV show that they're about. Alright guys, layers.